of a bucket. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm gonna be doing the best of May and I'm getting like super excited and pumped to do videos like this now because I don't know, it's just like something to look forward to at the end of every month. And I have quite a few things to share with you guys. I have a bucket. This is actually a plant pot that I bought at Ikea. I did not buy it for my favorites. I bought it for plants, but there was no other way to carol all of my stuff. So I found this bucket and I put it in it. I think I'm gonna start adding like apps permanently to kind of like my best of monthly stuff just because I don't know I like trying out new things and it's a great way to like introduce you guys to some really cool apps that I'm loving too at the end of every month. Oh, Countdown Plus. Now this one was the free version. You could buy like the extended version of it where you can like customize it all you want. The reason why I'm loving this app is because I am going on vacation in 85 days, 10 hours, and 21 minutes. And this is like our first tropical all-inclusive vacation. I'll be going to Mexico. I am so stoked and super excited. And I love counting down the days. And I'm just like, okay, so June is here. It's gonna be over in like a jiffy. And then August is gonna be here and gonna be on vacation. So I'm excited. And I'm slowly like buying the stuff that I need. And pretty soon I'll be doing a summer essentials. Um, video and then I'll also be showing you the swimsuits that I'll be taking with me to Mexico but this app I really like because I can just put in the um, like the date when I'm leaving and then it counts down for me and like every time it hits like a milestone so like 90 days 80 days 70 days stuff like that one week whatever it notifies me and it lets me know it's just a really cool reminder to have something to look forward to Dove dry spray um, so why I like this is because I always have issues with deodorant. My armpits are super picky, okay? And I always wanted to try the dry spray, but I was just like, it's way too expensive. It was like 11 or $12. I've always heard great things about this one, and I really wanted to try it out. So it was on sale one day for $4, and I'm just like, okay, I'm gonna try it. And in retrospect, I probably should have grabbed like a handful because this stuff is amazing so the flavor the flavor <laughs> the flavor the scent that i have is called beauty finish and it's supposed to give you 48 hours of um of protection and what i really like about this is that it smells really great and it keeps my armpits nice and dry and i smell really good and i get compliments on how good i smell even when i'm not wearing perfume so basically how you use it is you have to shake it up really well and then you just kind of like hold it at a distance away from your armpits and you spray One thing with this is that the scent is very strong and it tends to fly up my nose really quickly. But aside from that, I absolutely love it and I think the bottle is super cute. So the Dove Dry Spray. Okay. The Coconut Oil Weightless, co not coconut oil, I'm so sorry guys, the Coconut Water Weightless Hydration Oil. And basically this is an oil that is infused with coconut water and I absolutely love this. It is super lightweight, it gives your hair really nice shine. I'm wearing it in my hair today. If you see the light bouncing off my hair guy, that's this oil right here. You can use it on wet or dry hair. I like to use it on my ends when they're kind of looking a little bit crackly, which is more so than usual just because it's I'm due for texturizing but I'm holding out a little bit until I'm hoping I can hold out on the texturizer till the end of June because then that would make it like three months. Um, so I'm holding out, but this is definitely keeping my ends in check and it just keeps my hair super shiny and healthy looking. I have this Quo, um, what is it? The multicolored wedge sponges. Honestly, they're just like fancy colored sponges, but this came with one, two, three, four, five, six. It came with eight. And I've already used two. They're super dirty. There's a purple one and like a mustardy yellow one. Um, but I really like this. I just bought it on a whim at Shoppers. It was on sale for like two bucks or something. Four dollars actually because I posted a picture of this on my Instagram. And I just bought it to try it out. And this stuff works really great for under the eyes. Um, you know, for like 
the um, the bridge of your nose if you want to like do like some highlighting and stuff like that and it works really well for contouring as well if you use the more straight edged part of it and then the round edge works really great for under the eyes but I really like this stuff they're really handy and it's great for traveling as well if you want to like touch up under your eyes with some setting powder or something like that it's great for everyday MAC prep and prime CC Oh, Prep and Prime CC Color Correcting Loose Powder. This one is um, very similar to the Banana Powder by Ben Nye or the Sasha, is it, what is it, Sasha Buttercup something, another powder. Very, very similar. A lot cheaper than the Ben Nye Luxury Powder, which is super expensive. And either way, I can't seem to really find it here in Canada. Not that I would want to buy it anyways because it's so expensive. And this one was... Um, this one was at a really good price point. It was $30 and I've had it for like two or three months and this is what I've been using to set my under eyes um, when I apply my co my concealer for, um, for highlighting. The one thing I would say with this that I don't like about it is in terms of the packaging. The product itself is really good, but I can't even open this for you guys right now because I run the risk of spilling it um, because for some reason the holes is just, they're super, super big. So all the product actually comes out. So there's actually no point in putting the sifter there because it just doesn't do what a sifter is supposed to do that is my only issue with this aside from that it's really good and it'll last a really long time because i only use it to set my under eyes so um if you guys are looking for like a more um cost cost effective or less expensive setting powder than the Ben Nye Banana Powder or if, in a, if you're in a location where you can't really get access to that powder then I would recommend this one. It's really really good. My Tarte Maracuja Oil. I use this to moisturize my face um, at night before I go to bed and I really like this because Putting oils on your face, like a nightly oil or something like that, is really great for um, renewing and replenishing the skin. Your skin sheds at night when you're sleeping, so nighttime is the best time to kind of exfoliate and stuff like that. And if I do exfoliate some nights, this oil is really great for just putting back the moisture in my skin. So I really love to use this, and the packaging is just beautiful. I actually posted a picture of this on Instagram as well. I love this stuff. I will be using it throughout the summer, and I'll probably take it to Mexico with me. On vacation so there yeah, we go I've been getting questions on this mascara this is the Giorgio Armani black ecstasy uh, mascara this is probably one of the very very few mascaras I would repurchase I have never bought the same mascara twice until this one I love this stuff it's super expensive it's closer to $40 but it's just amazing it makes my lashes look super long and super thick and super curly and i get so many comments and compliments like i need that mascara and i'm telling you this stuff is amazing i absolutely love it the wand is more of the longer thicker bristles so it's definitely built for volume but it gives you a good amount of length as well if you guys are looking for a really good mascara i would definitely recommend this one i have two lipsticks now these two are from MAC and if you guys have not seen my lipstick collection video, definitely check it out. It was one of my favorite videos to make and it was super fun and a lot of you guys really liked it and I just really want to say thank you so much for all your love and support lately. I cannot believe that you guys actually watch and subscribe to my channel and you tell me that you love my videos. I really appreciate that and to be honest with you, when I started my YouTube channel, I never thought anybody would subscribe to me because honestly, I thought I was putting out shit videos. But I really, really appreciate you guys and I just want to thank you really quickly. This is taupe um, and it's a matte brown lipstick. It is essentially the perfect nude. And then the other one is pink plaid. Now these are both matte lipsticks, but pink plaid I wear with a lip liner. This one I wear with cork lip liner and it just looks beautiful it looks amazing it is the one that i was wearing in my last haul video and you guys really loved my lip color in that one so this one definitely is my go-to pink lipstick for the summer and the taupe lipstick is like i said the perfect nude it is a perfect brown when i apply it to my lips it doesn't look like i'm putting anything on it just kind of like evens out my lips and it just makes them look nice 
and nudie looking. Polish. I've been wearing white nail polish only for the past three months or so and I absolutely love it. I think it's become like my staple color. I just love white nail polish. I think there's something very clean and classy about it. Sally Hansen Miracle Gel Nail Polishes. This is in the shade Get Mod. It is their white shade and I had to get it with the top coat which is 100. So the cool thing about these is that they're super thick. They're supposed to be kind of like the um, consistency and feel and the um, duration of a gel nail polish minus using the UV lamp and stuff like that and I can absolutely say I love these the one thing I would say is make sure that you use a base coat and put a top coat on top of this top coat this top coat is actually not very good but the color is absolutely beautiful the SC quickie drying drops and this stuff is amazing I absolutely love it before I was using the OPI drying drops, but this one I think is a lot better and I just really love to use this stuff. If you guys have issues with waiting for your nail polish to dry, then I would definitely recommend drying drops and the SC one is absolutely great. I bought this on sale because regular price this stuff is like $15 or $16, but I got it for like $8, $9 at Shoppers Drug Mart. So I would definitely say look out for this stuff when they're on sale or if you have coupons, that would be like the best time to buy it. And then the last thing that I have to show you guys is a perfume and I picked this one up end of April beginning of May this one I bought I bought it before Mother's Day and the reason why I know this is because I totally jumped on the bandwagon of the free, three times the points event that Sephora was having on fragrance and I bought this and it was like $115 so I got three times the points I got like 300 points or whatever but this is the replica um, perfume by Maison Martin Mergilla and this is in the scent Beach Walk this is absolutely beautiful all the replica fragrances are essentially supposed to um, bring back or make you feel like you've been here before so beach walk is supposed to remind you like remind you of being on a beach somewhere in um calvi 1972 so they basically took sense of different time periods and different areas and they essentially bottled it up this one has like coconut milk and all this really cool um scents in there and i absolutely love the notes if you guys are looking for a summer fragrance then i would definitely recommend this one sometimes i even put it on before i go to bed because i'm just like oh, i smell so good <sighs> that is it for the best of may i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys are interested in whatever video you want to see next let me know in the comment section below